Hi everyone, I am Rick Zanotti and this is Tech Down Over. Today we are talking about connecting audio to your camera. Now I'm shooting today, or actually Harold's shooting right over there with the Sony A9. On top of the Sony we have a couple of things. We've got the uh, Rode, Rodelink Filmmaker kit. Well actually we have the whole kit on top of the camera, but we've got the receiver on top of the camera which looks like this. So this receiver takes the signal, by the way, no antenna that's visible, so it's all built into the case probably, uh, and it takes the signal from the transmitter, which I have right now here. Normally I would attach it via these to a belt, or these are body packs. So I would attach it to a belt or, or pants or something so that would hang on the back, uh, or you could also tape or Velcro these or do whatever you want. Um, the mic is this, so this is the mic cable has only one button which is to turn it on on the top and then inside if I pull this out it's really actually pretty simple um, it has the double batteries plus one little button there to do your pairing so I would pair this to the receiver over there and that's actually really easy it's basically pushing two buttons quickly and it changes the channels automatically so if by any chance as it happened to us this morning the mics get out of, or the transmitters get out of sync with the receivers, all you have to do is pair two of them up again, do the pairing, you're done, then do the other pairing for the other two, and life is good. Now the microphone, it's a Rode lav mic, it's probably the same as the Rode uh, lav mic that you can buy individually, Has comes with a clip, comes with the mic, and a very small little uh, windsock right there, which is good, and then it comes with a bigger windsock, it looks like a furry kind of thing and um, that all comes in this little pouch so you put that in the pouch you can put your lav in the pouch the little one stays on the lav it also comes with a clip which you see right here pretty easy to use a nice little clip to put the mic in and of course you can always tape mics you can do other things to them as as needed so this is the sound from the road link mic or road mic <laughs> road link transmitter to the receiver uh it's a pretty good little mic road always has made good lab mics and it's not bad uh, i got this from b h this is called the road road link uh filmmakers kit it comes with two of the uh road links so you have this set so that's one set of of transmitter receiver and then you have the second set of which i have my transmitter and the receiver is over there on the camera. Uh, for fill light we are using the Amaron, well the Aperture Amaron AM9L I think is the number. Anyway it's going, it's probably at about four I think on the level four or five. Uh, that's not too bad, we also have fluorescents overhead which are pretty bright. The whole kit comes in this case, it's a nice little case which, by the way, I have a Sennheiser Evolution series. Uh, we have that here in the office, which we use for a lot of our professional shoots. And that has almost the same exact case. So I think these are B&H kits. They do a really good job of putting uh, kits together. And this is what it looks like. So you would put the receivers in these areas here. I think well, actually you also get one more piece, which is for an XLR mic. You can put right on this. Let me pull it out right on this, this will transmit, this will pair with one of the receivers and you will, you can now put any kind of XLR mic into the fray. It does come with one XLR mic, which is this one, which looks exactly like a Sennheiser mic. In fact, the name of the company was like Sennel something or other. Um, who knows? It's probably either a, a, a ripoff of uh, a Sennheiser or they're made by the same people. I don't know for sure, but it comes as part of the kit. Not a bad little mic. I have one of these separately with another uh, uh, system that we have, and it works pretty well. It's not as good as the Rode Reporter. It would have been nice to see the Rode Reporter in here. That's a $125 mic. That would have been a much better choice than this one uh, because it's a really, really good mic for $125, bucks, but they didn't. So anyway, here's the extra lav, uh, and everything just fits here into these spaces which is nice very easy to get to things you also, we also bought some replacement uh clips you'll never know how, how often these things get lost so anyway that's it this is the road again 
road, the Rode Road Link Filmmaker Kit. It's a great audio solution. Is it the best audio sound on earth? No. It's pretty darn good. Uh, I have the Evolution. The Evolution sounds good. This sounds pretty much about as good, meaning they're all pretty good. Uh, Hugh Brownstone, good friend, did a review of the Sony lab system, wireless system, the Sennheiser AVX system, and the Rode. And frankly, even though the Rode probably didn't have as great a sound, let's say, as the Evolution, it wasn't bad. You could barely tell the difference between the three of them. And this one actually worked the cleanest, from what I could tell, in his review. Go take a look at his review. We'll, we'll try to put a show link down beneath uh, in the comments so that you can take a look at it. It's a good review. Anyway, for Tech Down Over, I am Rick Zanite. If you have any questions, comments, ideas, you want to subscribe, you want to send us hate mail, go ahead, do it. We don't mind. Uh, have a good one. We will see you next time on Tech Down Over. Bye-bye.